afternoon, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today, we're doing something a little different. Actually, we haven't, we've been needing to do this for a really long time. Yes. Ever since we installed the aftermarket radio on Bobby's Jeep Wrangler, we, you know how aftermarket radios have that USB plug and you kind of have to fish it through a glove box or something like that. Well, there's actually a way to take and plug use your factory USB plug that's in your console on that radio. And by doing that, you have to have one of these little connector doodad leads right here. <laughs> this is a mini USB um, to a normal USB. Matter of fact, let's just open it up. So it's a mini USB. This will plug into the factory connection on the car. This connector will actually plug into the aftermarket radio. It's actually dirt cheap. I don't remember, it was like 10 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I'll leave a link there in the description. Um, we're gonna we're gonna install this on her Jeep right now. I, I don't think it's gonna be that hard, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's, Let's go. go. See, so when you have an aftermarket radio, you have one of these connectors right here and you run this to your phone. And we're gonna take that, we're gonna replace that. Believe it or not, is right down underneath your actually HVAC controls, right down in here, there is a USB connection for the factory system. We're gonna tap into that. But before we do that, we have to remove all of this. to remove the dash bezel typically you would remove another seven millimeter screw from the top but this is an aftermarket radio and it required the removal of the bracket that you would normally attach to so we don't have to do that but if you want to know how to do that check one of our previous videos All right, next up, we need to remove the HVAC controls. And to do that, you just pretty much pull from the top and it should pop out. Just be a little gentle. All right, this is the module that actually has your USB connection. Your USB connection is actually right here. To do that, we need to remove this screw and this screw right here. We need to disconnect the factory USB cable. This is the cable that goes to your console. And we're gonna take our new connector and we're gonna plug it in just like so. Now, we have a USB cable that we can plug into our radio. Next, you probably should check and make sure it works before you button it up. Probably a good idea, especially here in Bubba's garage. Honestly, I was going to button it back up, but we've had to redo things so many times. She said she wanted to check it. Don't blame her. It's her Jeep. It's working. It's working. Yay! Now, we clean all this up, run a couple of zip ties, and we button it up. That's about it. All right, guys, that actually went really well. Honestly, it took about an hour, but here's the thing. We've taken that dash apart probably like 3,000 uh, times. Who knows? So if it's your first <laughs> time, it may take about an hour and a half. Give it a little bit of time. Take your time. Don't break any of the plastic components and things like that. Yes. And admit what I said, down at the bottom, right behind the HVAC, when you pull that little controller out that the USB plug is plugged into, those two screws, 
that you just watch that bottom right screw because you will lose, I've done it. I've yes. lost it before. It will fall into the bottom and then it's going to be a booger bear to get it back out. Right. Magnetic tools will come in handy about that time. So yeah. uh, just, just be aware of it. Also make sure that it's the first screw that you put back in because you can put the screw in through the through the little module, put your um, socket on it and then push it in and then tighten it all up and you're going to be okay. So just be aware of that. Honestly, one out of five bubble thumbs, how many? I, what would you give it? I'd probably give it a five just because I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's a much cleaner yeah. install. Yeah, I would agree you with that. You don't have wires I draped mean, all over. Yeah. Value for the money. That's that's what the bubble thumbs mean. You know, value for the money. Honestly, it's there. Uh, yes. 100%. I mean, this is like 10, 20 bucks. Again, the link is there in the description if you want to check that out or you need that for your Jeep Wrangler. Absolutely. I would definitely do it again. If you guys have any questions, leave me some comments down below. Or if you've done this and you've lost a screw, I definitely would love to hear about it because it is a booger bear to get that screw when you've lost it. Yes. Yeah, just saying. So guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.